What is up YouTube, Skiz1 here, and today I have for you a review of Flame Spray Paint. So uh, if you haven't heard of this before, it's a new spray paint made by the same people that make Belton or Molotov spray paint. So I'll tell you a bit about uh, the can and the paint, and then after I'll take you guys outside and we can test it out. So uh, first off, there's Flame Blue as well as Flame Orange. There are subtle differences between them. Flame Blue is a low-pressure acrylic paint, all-weather, outdoors, indoors. They're also claiming it as low odor. Flame Blue comes with a blue dot cap, obviously female valve system. Comes with a little stencil cap. Um, I don't know, they claim it's a stencil cap if you want to put that on any of your pieces or anything. Uh, they only come in 400 milliliter cans at the moment. They may expand uh, to 600 milliliter cans in the future, I'm not sure. So Flame Blue, as I said, it's acrylic based, low pressure. Flame Orange, um, it's higher, higher pressure and it is synthetic based. Also, they're claiming low odor. So it comes with a stencil cap as well and a Widowmaker cap so wide a wide cap but overall it's just a standard can so I'll take you guys outside and uh, we can test out the actual formula see how drippy it is how well it holds up on different surfaces that kind of thing I do have a flame blue in white as well as a flame blue in black so we can test out to see how the opacity holds up for white and basically how the overall paint holds up for black and in flame orange, I have a white and a black as well to test out um, opacity and whatnot. So yeah, take it outside. Alright, so I'm outside now. This is just kind of a little ramp I use for painting. I uh, painted over it in some black and white so you guys can see a bit better. So first we'll uh, test out the flame blue. I'm just using the original cap that's on it. So again, this is the low pressure acrylic base paint. So we'll see how it performs. Start it up nice and easy. As you can see, I'm. Uh, it's very misty since I held it pretty far away for a low pressure can. But if you want to hold it closer, you get a nice clean line just like that. Um, basically, it seems to hold up very well for opacity. The cap, again, blue dot, so it's not exactly a very thick cap, but uh, that's not bad. So yeah, the flame blue basically had no drips whatsoever. It was very good for that. Uh, again, the odor, not much odor at all. I'll show you the stencil cap that it comes with at the end. Uh, so right now, they'll test the flame orange. I, I don't, didn't really think we needed to see the black. It's, I don't see what else I can show you with that. So again, the white and flame orange. This is a high pressure can, as you can see. This is about almost a foot away. And you can get a huge line like that if you want. Or if you go closer, about two or three inches away, just like that. Again, opacity holding up really well. It's not transparent at all. That's just one coat, too. So the high pressure, it's very good if you want to do quick fill-ins, such as that. Again, it comes with a Widowmaker. I'm not seeing any drips with this at all. The only thing is, with both these cans, they really start to get misty, as you can see, if you don't hold it at the right kind of distance. So um, you have to know what you're doing when you use the paint, basically. Again, though, no odor. Um, it's very good for that, both the kinds. This was the synthetic base formula. So overall, I'd give this paint about a 9 out of 10. Uh, really nothing to complain about. It seems like a really solid paint made by uh, Belt and Molto. So, um, yeah, tell them what you guys think. Uh, they're about 5 50 a can at bombingscience.com. So, um... If you guys want to buy it, that's where you can get it. Not sure of where else has it yet. Uh, they kind of jumped on that. So yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. Rate, comment, subscribe, beef. There's their little stencil. It's not incredibly clear. It's just kind of a flame. Not very interesting in my opinion.